Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Thursday, June 1st, 2023. Big show today. MLB, WNBA, Women's College World Series begins today. We have soccer, NBA Finals Game 1, French Open. We have to go over first and second round results because we are behind with that. Um, Golf will go over the early leaderboard for the Memorial Tournament. My first NBA mock draft of the year, news and notes, and best bet. All right, I'll start with baseball. Um, We'll go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to today's games, which is a small slate. Tigers over the Rangers, 3-2. Angels over the White Sox, 12-5. Rays over the Cubs, 4-3. Guardians over the O's, 12-8. Braves over the A's, 4-2. Pirates over the Giants, 9-4. Nats over the Dodgers, 10-6. Marlins over the Padres, 2-1. So best bet was a loser. Brewers over the Blue Jays, 4-2. Reds over the Red Sox, 5-4. Mets over the Phillies, 4-1. Twins over the Astros, 8-2. Rockies over the Diamondbacks. Or, I'm sorry, D-backs over the Rockies, 6-0. And the Mariners over the Yankees, 1-0 in 10 on a walk-off single by Cal Riley. It was a big win for Seattle. Um... Seven games today, so it's half the league. Um, one o'clock, you have the Brewers at the Blue Jays. Freddie Peralta and Kevin Gossman. Um, the Blue Jays really need to get going. I watched a couple of these games, and they got to get going with the rest of the division being as good as it is. They're minus 200 favorites at home. The Brewers are plus 168 over under 8.5, over is even money, under is minus 122. Brewers plus one half is minus one two two. Jays minus one half is plus one oh two. Um for this one. I'm gonna go with the over four and a half blue jay runs at minus one fifteen. I think they're due for a good offensive game. Phillies Mets. Time one Walker, Max Scherzer. Mets going for the sweep. They're minus one seventy two favorites. Phillies even money over on their eight and a half. Or I should say plus 144. I don't know where even money came from. Over is minus 120. Under is minus 102. Fields plus 1.5 is minus 40. Mets minus 1.5 is plus 116. This is a tough one. But Max Scherzer has not been the Max Scherzer of old. The Phillies are better than the Guardians and some of these other offenses they've seen lately. I'm going to go over 3.5 runs at minus 118. And they're certainly better than the Rockies. Um... Padres, Marlins, Joe Musgrove, and Jesus Luzardo. Musgrove's taking a big step back. Their favorite, minus 120. The Marlins are plus 102 over on their 7.5. Overs, minus 132. Unders, even money. Padres, minus 1.5 is plus 138. Marlins, plus 1.5 is minus 166. For this one, I'm going to do over 3.5. Marlins runs at minus 114. Like I said, Joe Musgrove has not been good this year. 330 Rockies D backs. Connor Seabold and Zach Davies. D backs minus 174. Rockies plus 146. Over under 9.5. Overs minus 118. Unders minus 104. Rockies plus 1.5 is minus 30. D backs minus 1.5 is plus 108. I'm going full game over. 7 o'clock Reds, Red Sox. Hunter Green and Chris Sale. Boston minus 172. Reds plus 144. Over under 9. Overs minus 118. Unders minus 104. Reds plus one half is minus one thirty seven. Red Sox minus one half is plus one fourteen. Chris Sale is starting to pitch better. I um have been one of his critics over the past several years, but he's been a lot better um, the last several starts. I'm gonna go full game under nine at minus one four. Maybe Hunter Green pitches well too. Um, seven thirty Guardians Twins. Tanner Bebe and Pablo Lopez. Twins minus 148. Guardians plus 126. Over under 8. Over is minus 114. Under is minus 106. Guardians plus 1 half is minus 170. Twins minus 1 half is plus 140. I'm going to go Guardians straight up plus 126. Um, b actually pitched pretty well this year. Pablo Lopez has regressed over the last several weeks. And last but not least, 8 o'clock on Fox Sports 1. Angels, Astros, Reed Demers, from all that. So it's Trout and Otani. Against the Astros. Hopefully we see Otani in this series on the mound. The Astros are minus 200. The A's are plus 168. Or I should say the Angels. Over under 8.5. Over is minus 105. Under is minus 115. 
Angels plus one half is minus 20. Astros minus one half is even money. Um, for this one, I'm going to go over four and a half Astro runs at minus 114. All right, now I'll move on to the WNBA. Um, we'll go over the results from... Actually, no, there were no results from yesterday. My mistake, we have games tonight. We only have one game, believe it or not. 8 o'clock on Prime Video. The Sun and the Lynx. The Sun are 4 and 1. The Lynx are winless at 0 and 5. The Lynx are due for a win. Um, The Sun are favored by 6 and a half. Total is 161 and a half. Um, I'm going to go with the over. I think the Sun are really good offensively. I don't want to touch the spread because of how bad the Lynx have been. At 0 and 5, but I'm gonna go with the the full over for this game as um I think the Sun offensively led by Dewana Bonner and Alyssa Thomas will um really uh, lead the way here for the Connecticut Sun and then, uh we have a full uh slate of weekend games that we'll talk about too. All right, the Women's College World Series um. It all begins today at 12 o'clock on ESPN. Oklahoma is a humongous favorite to win it all. Um, 12 o'clock on ESPN, you have Alabama and Tennessee. Alabama is your five seed. Tennessee's your four seed. It's a double elimination round. Um, this is an interesting series between two SEC schools. Um... So, um, there's no odds. There's odds to win the College World Series, but there's no, uh, um, you know, um, uh, lines and such. So, the double elimination is best of three. If, Um, so, um, just, a, um, just want to pull up the bracket real quick. And the fact that it's being played in Oklahoma City is, um, insane. But no, the finals is uh is what it comes to with um But yeah, so I guess it's uh one game at a time and then uh the semifinals is best of three and the finals So, um, it's going to be, uh, very interesting here. Um, with, uh, these, um, how this plays out. So, I'm going to say that Tennessee beats Alabama. I think they're better, um... And Alabama's good. But I do think that Tennessee will move on. And then, so Tennessee will be in the second round and Alabama would play the loser of Oklahoma-Stanford at 2-3 on ESPN. Oklahoma's moving on. They're on a monster winning streak, 45 straight games. They're so dominant. This is one of the best college sports teams we've ever seen. So I expect Oklahoma to win and take on Tennessee in the second round. And then uh, we'll see uh, Stanford against Alabama, I would assume, tomorrow. And then 7 o'clock on ESPN tonight, we have 
Oklahoma State and Florida State. Um, Oklahoma State's the six and Florida State's the three. Um, I like Florida State's team. I think they are pretty solid. If I um, had to guess who the second best team is in the tournament, you could argue Tennessee, you could argue Florida State. Um, I think Florida State's a little bit better. I think they'll beat Oklahoma State tonight. And at 9.30 on ESPN, you have 15 seed Utah and 7 seed Washington. Um, this is a good one. Pac-12 teams going at it. Um, Utah did a good job in their Super Regional. In their, uh, in their home state. And, um... San Diego State, nice run for them, but um, Utah, I think, earned its way here. So, I will go with Utah in an upset to take on Florida State in the next round, and Oklahoma State will play Utah in the double elimination. All right, now move on to soccer. Um, We'll go over notable results from yesterday and look ahead to anything going on today of importance. We'll start with MLS. Um, Atlanta, New England, 3-3 draw. Columbus over Colorado, 3-2. D.C. United, CF Montreal, 2-2 draw. Cincinnati over NYCFC, 3-1. Philly over Charlotte, 1-0. Toronto, Chicago, 0-0 draw. Red Bulls over Miami, 1-0. Austin over Minnesota, 2-1. The Galaxy over Salt Lake, 3-2. KC over Dallas, 2-1. San Jose over Seattle, 1-0. And Vancouver over Houston, 6-2. We'll have MLS again on Saturday to talk about. Um, we have the under-20 tournament going on right now. Um... Um, trying to pull up those results. Here we are. Um, Brazil over Tunisia four one. Colombia over Slovakia five one. And Nigeria over Argentina two no. Oh, and Italy over England two one. Um, and then today we have two games. One thirty. You have Gambia and. Uruguay, I expect Uruguay to win that one. And at 5 o'clock, you have Ecuador and South Korea. Ecuador's been playing well. I like their chances. Um, the... Uh, Um, the Women's Cup, um, I'm going to pull that up. Really quick. Um, uh, Louisville over Chicago to no. Um, Seattle over San Diego, 3-0. And Portland over Angel City, 3-2. Um, Dutch Era device today, 12.45. You have Heerenveen and FSA 20. Um, so... Um, FSA 20 is minus 130. Heron is 3 to 1. The draws plus 260. Um, Heron Bean hasn't been playing poorly lately. They've been actually been pretty good. But I'm going to go under 2.5 goals at even money. And at 3 o'clock, FC Utrecht and Sparta. Um, Utrecht is minus 130. Sparta is plus 310. The draws plus 250. 
Um, Sparta's sixth and Utrecht is seventh. And by the way, Heronveen is eighth and Twente is five. So it's five, six, seven, eight. For this one, I'm going to go with the draw at plus 250. Um, the German Bundesliga playoff today. Um, we have um, the um. Um, VFP Stuttgart and Hamburg SV. Um, Stuttgart's minus 170, Hamburgers plus 390, the draws plus 290. Um, I'm gonna go with, um, Hamburg at plus 390 as a, uh, pretty nice sized underdog. Italian Serie B. 2.30, um, you have Brescia and Consenza. Consenza leads 1-0 on aggregate. Um, Brescia is minus 105. Consenza is plus 270. The draw is plus 230. Um, I'm going to go with the draw at plus 230 here. We did FIFA under 20 already. Um... So the um Scottish Premiership promotion. Um we have Patrick Thistle and Ross County at three o'clock. Um I do not have the odds up for that. Um, Romanian League of One, one thirty of CFR Cluj Napaka and U Cravova nineteen forty eight. So I'm gonna go with Patrick Thistle in the Scottish game, and then uh, the uh, Romanian we have. Um, CFR is minus 165. FCU is plus 440. The draw is plus 260. I'm going to go with uh, Crayova. Plus 440 is a pretty big underdog. Um, 245, Northern Irish Premiership Promotion Regulation Playoffs. You have the Duncan and Swifts and the Anaga United. Um, for this one, I'm going to say... Uh, Dungeon and Swift wins. And, um, and I got United leads 2 1 on aggregate, by the way. Argentine League of Professional de Football. Um, Sarmanito and Newell's Old Boys. Um, Sarmiento's plus 170. Newell's is plus 190. The draw is plus 165. I'm going to go with Newell's at plus 190. And then 830, you have Arsenal, Sarandi, and Boca Juniors. Boca Juniors is favorite, minus 150. Arsenal, plus 410. The draw is plus 230. For this one, I'm going to go over 2.5 goals at plus 126. And then Copa do Brasil, 6.30 of Sao Paulo and Sport. Um, Sao Paulo is minus 210. Sport is plus 550. The draw is plus 270. Um, for this one, I'm going to go over 2.5 goals at plus 110. Flamengo and Fluminense. Flamengo is plus 120. Or now down to plus 115. Fluminense is plus 210. The draw is plus 220. 
I'm going to go with the Flamengo at plus 115. And then we have Colombian Primera A, um, the Provido Pasto, and Alenza um, Petrolera, and Atletico Nacional, and Rio Negro Agulas. And in Colombian Premier B, you have Patriotas and Cucuta Deportivo, and Valadupe RFC and Cortulula. And in the Peruvian, you have Sporting Crystal and San Susano del Cusco. All right, we got to move on to the NBA Finals. Um, game one is tonight between the Heat and the Nuggets. If you want to see or hear my pick, you got to listen to yesterday's podcast. So game one tonight, 8.30, ABC, Mike Breen, Mark Jackson, and Jeff Van Gundy and Lisa Salters. Great group as always. Heat Nuggets. My projection is Denver by 9, total 223 and 720. And it's 9 and 219. I like the over. Um, I think that Denver's offense will continue to be the machine it is. And I think Miami can check up some threes as well. So I'm going to go over 219 for my pick for game one. Okay, now we'll move on to um, the French Open. We got to, like, storm through the French Open. We'll start with the first round with the men's from Sunday. Um, Lucas Payel over Jarid Rodinoff in three sets. Hugo Humbert over Adrian Manorino in three sets. Alexander Shevchenko over Oscar Ott in four sets. 30 seed Ben Shelton over Lorenzo Sonego in four sets. 17, Andre Rublev over Laszlo Dejer in four sets. Quentin Motet over Arthur Kazox in four sets. 17, C. Lorenzo Mussetti over Mikel Yamer in three sets. Roberto Carrelbas Bena over Emilio Nava in three sets. Um, Matteo Arnaldi over Daniel Alahi Galan in four sets. 24, C. Sebastian Cord over Mackenzie McDonald in three sets. Um, Nuno Borg is over John Isner in five sets. Jason Kugler over Facundo Diaz Acosta in five sets. Five seats Stefano Sipias over Jerry Vesley in, in four sets. Martin Fuskovitz over Hugo Greener in four sets. The Nazi Kakianis upsets 20 seat Dan Evans in three sets. Radu Albot over Patrick Kaispin in four sets. Sebastian Ofen over Maxime Cressy in three sets. Talion Greekspor over Pedro Martinez in five sets. 11 seed Cameron Kaklevov over Constant Listine in five sets. And 13 seed Hubert Hurkaz over David Goffin in five sets. Monday first round. 18 Janik Sinner over Alexandre Muller in three sets. Luca Van Ash over Marco Sachanto in three sets. Um, Zang, Zeiss, or Zeissen Zang over Dusan Lajevic. And two sets in a walkover. 12 seed Francis Tiafo over um, Phil Krajnovic in three sets. Daniel Alomar over Mark Andrea Husler in three sets. One seed Carlos Alcaraz over Flavio Kobili in three sets. Um, 29 seed Alejandro Davidovich Fokino over Arthur Phils in four sets. Um, Jerry Lecha over Jan Leonard Struff in five sets. Leonard Stuff was the 21 seed. Um, Marcus Jeron over Hamad Medjevic in four sets. Pedro Chassin over Dominic Time in five sets. 15 seed Borna Koric over Federico Correa in four sets. Thiago Augustine Trante over 25 seed Botic Van Schulp in four sets. 3 seed Novak Djokovic over Alexander Kovacic in three sets. Taro Daniel over Christopher O'Connell in three sets. Stan Marinko over Albert Ramos Vinolas in five sets. Fabio Fugini upsets 10 seed Felix Algaras Salame in three sets. 19 seed Roberto Batista Gut over Yibing Wu in three sets. Aslan Karasev over Alexei Popperin in four sets. Tomas Martin Etchvery over Jack Draper in two sets and a walkover. 
Diego Schwartzman upsets 32 seed. Bernabe Zapata Morales in five sets. 14 seed Cameron Nori over Benoit Payer in five sets. 18 seed Alex Demeter over Ilya Ivashka in four sets. Juan Varelas over Shang Juchang. Or Juchang Chang in five sets. And 2016, Dennis Shapovalov over Brandon Nakashima in five sets. All right, Tuesday first round. Um, Gail Monfils over Sebastian Baez in five sets. Yannick Hoffman over Thiago Montiero in five sets. 2018, Grigor Dimitrov over uh, Timothy Stockov in three sets. Nancy Taylor Fritz over Michael Moe in Three sets. Arthur Rinderknecht over Richard Gosquet in four sets. Guido Pela over Quinton Haley's in five sets. 16 Holger Rune over Christopher Eubanks in four sets. 23 seed Francisco Serendola over Wame Munar in four sets. Emil Rusavori over Grigori Barre in five sets. Thiago Sable's wild upsets. Two seed Daniel Mavedev in five sets. Um, Guilo Zaperi over Alexander Bublik in five sets. 22 seed Alexander Zverev over Lloyd Harris in three sets. Alex Mokon over Hugh Gaston in three sets. 27 seed Yoshishito Nishioka over JJ Wolf in five sets. Max Purcell over Jordan Thompson in four sets. Gennaro Ola Vieri over Giovanni Mapechi Pericard in five sets. 4 seed Casper Rudd over Ilya Seymour in three sets. Nicholas Jerry over Hugo Italian in three sets. Andrea Vasavori upsets 31 seed Miomor Kekmovic in five sets. And 16 seed Tommy Paul over Dominic Stefan Stricker in three sets. Yesterday began the second round. Three seed Novak Djokovic over Marton Fuskovic in three sets. 17 seed Lorenzo Bassetti over Alexander Shevchenko in three sets. 17 Andre Rublev over Corentin Mata in four sets. 29 seed Alejandro Davide de Fakina over Luca Van Esch in three sets. 14 seed Cam Nori over Lucas Poulet in three sets. 13 seed Hubert Herkaz over Telan Griegspor in five sets. 11 seed Karen Kaktivov over Rodu Abbott in three sets. 1 seed Carlos Alcaraz over Taro Daniel in four sets. Um, Juan Pablo Varillas upsets 19 seed Roberto Batista Gut in five sets. 26 seed Denis Shapovalov over Mateo. Arnaldi in four sets. Diego Schwartzman over Nuno Borges in three sets. The Nazi Kikinas over Stan Marinka in five sets. Um, Lorenzo Senego over Ugo Humbert in three sets. Fabio Fugnini over Jason Kubler in three sets. Sebastian Offner upsets 24 seed Sebastian Cora in three sets. And five seed Stefano Sipias over Roberto Cabrales Bena in three sets. All right, finals so far today. Um, 16, Holga Rune over Gail Monfils in a walkover. Um, 4C, Casper Rudd over Guilo Zaperi in four sets. Um, 15, seed Borna Korik over Pedro Cassin in five sets. And then um, Tomas Echeverry upsets 18, seed Alex Demeter in three sets. Going on right now. Um, Aslan Karasev and 12 seed Francis Tiafo. Thiago Torrente and Zhang uh, Zhang. Zhang. Um, Guido Pela and Thiago say both wild. Emil Rusuri and 2018 Grigor Dimitriov. Um, 18 Jenik Center and Daniel Altmaier. And just coming final, um, 2017 Yoshishito Nishioka over Max Purcell. In four sets. Still to come in the second round. Um, Gennaro Alberto Olivieri and Andrea Vasorvi. Um, Tomas Martin Echeverri in 18th. Oh, see, Alex Demir. We already did that one final. Um, Marcus Giron and Hiri Lukicka. 23 Francisco Cernodo and Yannick Hoffman. Um, Arthur Rindergneck and Nancy Taylor Fritz and... 22 seed Alex Zverev and Alex Molkon. And then third round begins tomorrow. 
All right, the women's um we have a lot to do with the women's. We'll begin the first round on Sunday. Um 19 Daria Kasakina over Julian Neymar in two sets. 3 C Jessica Pagula over Daniel Collins in two sets. 15 T Ludmila Samsonova over Katie Volinats in two sets. 2017 Arena Camilla Begu over Anna Bondar in two sets. Um Meyer Sheriff over Madison Bringle in two sets. Sarah Arani over Jill Teichman in three sets. 2014 Anastasia Popova over Taylor Towson in two sets. Clara Tawson over Alexandra Sasnovic in two sets. Um, Quinn Zhang, you're 19 over Tamara Zinasek in two sets. Camelia Georgi over Elias Cornette in two sets. Leila G- uh, Wanjin over Kimberly Burrell in three sets. Um, Carolina Muchova upsets 18 Maria Sakari in two sets. Leila Fernandez upsets 21 Magda Lynette in three sets. 2018 Elise Mertens over Victoria Hernakova in two sets. Uh, Camelia Rakamova over Sarah Blijek in two sets. Storm Sanders over Nuria Perez Diaz in three sets. Erna um, Shimnovic over Pana Udvari in three sets. Um, two seed Arena Sablanka over Marta Kasiuk in two sets. Nadia Puraskoka over Jessica Poncha in two sets. And Magda French upsets Shui Zhang in 2019. In two sets. Monday first round. Simona Walter over Elizabeth Mondique in two sets. 17th seed. Jelena Ostapenko over Teresa Martinkova in two sets. Elisa Beta Cacaretto over Petra Kipitova in 10th seed in two sets. 23 seed Ekaterina Alexandrova over Victoria Tomanova in three sets. Anna Carolina Shmidlova upsets 11 team Veronica Kunaratova in two sets. Beatrice Hadid Maya, your 14 team over Tajana Maria in two sets. Anna Blakova over Yasleen Bonaventure in two sets. Anna Friedsdam over Nayo Habino in three sets. Caroline Garcia over Zia Wong in three sets. Peyton Stearns over Katarina Silakova in two sets. Um. Oleona Bliskova over Christina Kukova in two sets. Alina Slivotinia over 2016. Martina Trevisan in two sets. Yulia Putinseva over Marina um, Zinveska in two sets. Um, Varvara Gracheva over Dama Goffey in three sets. Um, 12 seed Blenda Benchik over Alina Avisian in three sets. Um, Diana Sh- um, Schneider over Rebecca Marino in two sets. Um, Marketa Vondrasova over Alika- Alicia Parks in two sets. Solana Stevens upset 16 Carolina Pliskova in two sets. Um, Kayla Day over Christina Lanovic in two sets. Anastasia Pavlovichova over Linda Fervitova in two sets. 20 seed Madison Keys over Kaya Kanepi in three sets. Um, Camelia. Osorio over Anna Bogdan in three sets. 22 seed Donna Vecic over Diana Yastremka in two sets. Uh, Bernardo Pera over Annette Contevit in two sets. All right, Tuesday, first round. Emma Navarro over Erica Andreeva in three sets. Petra Marchuk upsets tw- uh, 32 seed Shelby Rogers in two sets. Bianca Andrescu upsets 16 seed Victoria Azarenka in three sets. Claire Liu over Yannin Elbon in two sets. One seed Iga Swiatek over Christina Busca in two sets. Lauren Davis over Zulin in three. Or, I'm sorry, in two. Four seed Alina Rabenka over Brenda Frontova in two. Um, Jasmine Paolini upsets three seed Serena Christia in three. Le- Leah Serenko over Barbara Kruvijakova in 13 seed in two. Um, Sarah Sabrias Torma over Clara Burrell in two. Um, Julia Grabner over Aronx the Roos in two. Linda Niskova over Donta Kovnik in two and a walkover. 60 Coco Goff over Rebecca Marcerova in three. Um, 
O'Shane Dubin over Selena Janovic in three. Um, Olga Donovic over Katerina Blondel in two. 17 Alice Jabor over Lucia Bronzetti in two. Um, Rebecca Peterson over Fiona Farrow in two. Zinu Wong upsets 31 seed Maria Buzukova in two. Diane Perry upsets 25 seed Elena Kalina in two. And Mira Andriva over Allison Risk in two. All right, second round yesterday. Um, Alina Avison over Leola Wanjin in two. Um, Camila Rakova over Magdalena French in two. Um, Clara Tawson over Leila Andy Fernandez in three. Um, 2017 Arena Begu over Sarah Arani in three. Solani Stevens over Vervara Gracheva in two. Two seed Arena Sablank over Ernest Shmanovic in two. Carolina Muchova over Nadia Poroska in three. Um, Yulia Punseva upsets 19 seed Quinn Zhang in three. Um, 19 Daria Kasakina over Marketa Vondrusova in two. Anastasia Pavlachikova over Ludmila Samsonova, your 15 seed in three. Anna Blinkova upsets 5 seed Caroline Garcia in 3. 24 seed Anastasia Popova over Maya Sheriff in 3. 3 seed Jessica Pagula over Camila Giorgi in a walkover in 1. 2018 Elise Mertens over Camila Osorio in 2. Peyton Stearns over 17 seed Jelena Ostapenko in 3. And Elena Civiltina over Storm Sanders in 3. And then today's finals so far. Second round, Mira Andreeva over Diane Parry in two. Um, Zinu Wong over Rebecca Peterson in two. Elizabeth Corcoretta over Simona Walrit in two. 14 seed, um, Patrice Hadid Maya over Diane Schneider in two. Um, Sarah Saribas Tormo over Pedro Martic in two. Anna Karolina Shmodova over Alona Blasova in three. Four seed, Alina Rybakina over Linda. Noskova in two. Kayla Day over 20 seed Madison Keys in three. And then going on right now, 23 seed Ekaterina Alexandrova and Anna um, Friesdam. A one seed Iga Swiatek and Claire Liu. Um, and 22 seed Donna Venchik and Bernarda Pera. Um, still to come, um, Julia Grabner in 16 Coco Goff. Oshina Dodin in 17 Ons Jabor. Jasmine Paolini and Olga Donovic, Bianca Andrescu and Emma Navarro, and Lauren Davis and Lesia Saranko. The third round starts tomorrow. We'll get to that when that comes. All right, now we'll move on to golf. Um, took a little bit less than I thought, so pound the back for me. So early leaderboard for the Memorial Tournament as we speak. Tied for first with five under Shane Lowry, Matt Wallace. Tied for third with three under um, Keith Mitchell, um, Wyndham Clark, Kevin Kisner, Mark Hubbard, and Bayon Ganon. Tied for eighth with two under Danny Willett, Adam Hadwin, Justin Sue, Brandon Wu, Grayson Higo, Seamus Power, Luke Liss, Saibu Kim, and Chris Goderick. Tied for 17th with one under Robbie Shelton, Taylor Montgomery, Harry English, Sean McCarthy, Victor Hovland, John Rahm, Lucas Griffin, Sam Burns, Cam Young, Patrick Rodgers, or never mind, Sam Bennett. Tied for 27th at even, Patrick Rogers, Ben Taylor, Scotty Shuffer, Ricky Fowler, J.J. Spawn, Ryan Henley, Adam Scott, Zach Johnson, Hayden Buckley, Sun J.M., Nate Hardy, Austin Eckroot. Tied for 39th, one over, now we're going to the notables, B.U. Hostler, Cam Davis, Trey Merritt, Emiliano Grillo, Jason Day, Colin Murakawa, Matt Kuchar, Brian Harmon, Stuart Singh, Jason Duffner, Aaron Ray, um, Joseph Brumlett's tied for 51st with two over with Davis Thompson, Brendan Todd, Lucas Glover. Um, Peter Malnati is 52nd or 56th with three over. Um, tied for 57th with four over Taylor Pendrith. 59th with five over. Kurt Katayama on 60th with 12 over. Yikes, Dylan Fertelli. Um, all right, now I'm going to do my first NBA mock draft of the year. Um, this was a, a fun one to put together. Um, the draft is three weeks from today. So let's get going. Um, number one, the San Antonio Spurs. Victor Wembanyama, son of France. This is a slam dunk. We all know it. Um, they look out yet again. 
best prospect since LeBron to come out and is super intimidating with his ability to shoot from anywhere and blocking shots at the rim. To Charlotte Hornets, Brandon Miller, small forward Alabama. This pick should be Scoot Henderson, but because of the presence of LaMelo Ball, they may go with Miller despite off-court troubles. Miller has the upside to be an elite scorer on a good team. Three to Portland Trailblazers, Scoot Henderson, point guard G League Ignite. Henderson dropping the three would cause chaos as teams would either be trying to acquire the pick or even if the team were to keep it and take Henderson to trade Damian Lillard. Henderson has great athleticism and has all-NBA type of talent. Four to Houston Rockets, Eamon Thompson, point guard, overtime elite. This pick is absolutely in play to be traded with the Rockets' desire to bring back James Harden and to win now. Thompson has a ton of length and can guard any position realistically, but needs to become a better shooter. Five, the Detroit Pistons, Cam Whitmore, small forward power forward Villanova. The Pistons were the biggest loser of the draft lottery, dropping the five, but Whitmore isn't the worst consolation prize ever. The Pistons' biggest need is on the wing, so the pick makes a lot of sense with his ability to defend, and he's great in transition. Six, the Orlando Magic, Oscar Thompson, shooting guard small forward, overtime elite. The Magic land a great talent here at Thompson. Oscar arguably has higher upside than his brother Eamon due to his three-point shooting ability, and that is something that this young Magic team can use. Seven, Indiana Pacers, Jarris Walker, power forward, Houston. The Pacers have some options here with this pick as they could potentially trade up if they want to. Walker is a versatile player on both ends of the court and would give the Pacers offense a different look. Eight, the Washington Wizards. Anthony Black, point guard, Arkansas. This would be a nice pick for the Wiz considering the need for a long-term point guard. Black is a big guard that does just about everything and is a smart player that knows how to utilize advantages. Nine, the Utah Jazz. Grady Dick, shooting guard of Kansas. The Jazz were surprisingly decent this season, and they don't seem that far off from being a threat. Dick makes a ton of sense here for the Jazz with his ability to shoot the three and defend and has the ability to develop more as a player. 10, the Dallas Mavericks. Taylor Hendricks, power forward UCF. The Mavs keep their draft pick courtesy of tanking out of the playoffs to prevent themselves from losing their pick. Hendricks here makes sense because the Mavs may lose Christian Wood and Dwight Powell in free agency, and he has a lot of upside and would fit well with Luka Doncic. 11, the Orlando Magic from the Chicago Bulls. County George, shooting guard, small forward, Baylor. With their second lottery pick, the Magic go with somebody who is very battle-tested in George. He's super explosive and tends to get to the basket well, but his shooting has to improve on what he's shown. 12, the Orla- Oklahoma City Thunder. Leonard Miller, small forward, power forward, G League Ignite. The Thunder have a ton of options here, including training the pick. Miller is someone whose stock has flown from the last several weeks as he's shown the ability to shoot the three and has a chance to develop defensively too. 3 to Toronto Raptors. Kaysen Wallace, point guard, Kentucky. The Raptors have... A lot of questions this offseason, including what they should do with Fred Van Vliet. Wallace here makes a lot of sense in case they lose Van Vliet, and he's a good defender that could develop more offensively. 14 in New Orleans Pelicans. Jordan Hawkins, shooting guard, UConn. Hawkins announced that he's staying in the draft, and he is making a good decision since he can be a lottery pick. Hawkins is a player that fits the Pelicans now and going forward. He has an excellent three-point shot and knows what it takes in big games. 15, the Atlanta Hawks. Nick Smith, point guard, shooting guard, Arkansas. With Trey Young being in trade rumors, a guard here would make sense. Smith struggled in college a season ago with injuries and inconsistencies, but it could be worth the risk if he lives up to the hype that he got in college. 16, the Utah Jazz from the Minnesota Timberwolves. Bilal Colibli, small forward, France. The Jazz can afford to take big swings on picks here, and I have them doing that with... um, Callably, who was a teammate of Victor Wembanyama. He has a ton of talent and has the length to be a solid defender. 17, the Los Angeles Lakers. Jet Howard, shooting guard, small forward, Michigan. It's more likely than not that the Lakers trade this pick for more help around LeBron James, assuming he doesn't retire, and Anthony Davis. Howard is a really good scorer and could do so in so many ways. 18, the Miami Heat. Jalen Hood, Shafino, shooting guard, Indiana. This selection would make sense for the Heat, since both Max Strokes and Gabe Vincent are free agents. Huchifino is a wild card in this draft and could go anywhere from the lottery to the end of the round, as he's very skilled but needs improvement with his shooting. 19, the Golden State Warriors. Derek Lively Jr., center Duke. 
This is another pick I wouldn't be surprised if traded, but they do need some center depth. Lively has two-way upside as a player, but really didn't show that consistency in college and has the ability to play on the perimeter, too. 20 to Houston Rockets from the Los Angeles Clippers. Three Whitehead, small forward Duke. With their second first rounder, the Rockets go with Whitehead, who could have been a top 10 pick his freshman year if he didn't fracture his foot. He would fit nicely as a secondary scoring option off the bench. 20, 21, the Brooklyn Nets from the Phoenix Suns. Maxwell Lewis, small forward Pepperdine. The Nets are trying to accumulate the most assets possible to trade for a start to go with Mikel Bridges. Lewis has the length and creates good shots for himself, which can cause him to move up draft boards. 22, the Brooklyn Nets. Kobe Bofkin, point guard shooting guard Michigan. With their second pick in a row, the Nets go with the versatile guard in Bufkin, although it would not surprise me if the th- team tried to move up. He is super quick and athletic on the perimeter and is safe in terms of guys to be impactful from this draft. 23, the Portland Trailblazers from the New York Knicks. Noah Clowney, power forward, Alabama. This is another pick I could see on the move to another team. Clowney does f- fit a depth need for the Blazers as he has... An impactful defender, but has work to do offensively. 24 to Sacramento Kings. Chris Murray, small forward, power forward, Iowa. Of course, everyone and their mother is making this mock selection. Murray does make a lot of sense, though, with Harrison Barnes being a free agent, and he can come in and play good defense and has a good IQ. 25, the Memphis Grizzlies. James Najee, center, France. This is a good long-term match, as Steven Adams probably is not the long-term solution for the Grizz at center. Najee has solid physical tools, and he's strong and lengthy and has a ton of potential defensively. 26, the Indiana Pacers from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Bryce Sensabog, shooting guard, small forward, Ohio State. With their second first rounder, the Pacers take the talented wing here in Sensabog. He's their classic three-point bucket getter that can help swing a game. 27, the Charlotte Hornets from the Denver Nuggets. Rayon Rupert, shooting guard, small forward, France. This could be an interesting draft and stash player for the Hornets as they should take the swing here. Rupert has the ability to defend at a high level and has great wingspan. 28, the Utah Jazz from the Philadelphia 76ers. Olivier Maxens Prosper, small forward, power forward, Marquette. With their third first round, they're at the Jazz going with Prosper. This makes picks, This pick makes sense for the Jazz as they have a need at forward depth. And Prosper is a super aggressive player, and does a little bit of everything. 29, the Indiana Pacers from the Boston Celtics. Trace Jackson Davis, power forward, Indiana. Um, Jackson Davis had a great year in college after he was thought to be a one-done prospect several years ago. So this is a hometown kid for Indiana. They know they like these types of guys. Great score in the paint and would help anybody immediately, I think. Then 30, Los Angeles Clippers from the Milwaukee Bucks. Colby Jones, shooting guard, Xavier. The Clippers can use some depth everywhere with a lot of long-term questions with the roster. Jones is a solid all-around player and is a competitor that can help teams win. All right, so there's my first mock draft. Now I'll move on to the news and notes for today. Um, we're going to do it rapid fire. Um, Tom Brady, there are rumors that he was going to come play again for the Raiders and and that would be if the league approved his ownership stake. TMZ had scoop. And then Brady comes out just now and says, I'm not playing again, as he shuts down speculation that he'll unretire. Yesterday, DeAndre Hopkins had a cryptic tweet. Um, Jets unlikely to pursue Nuke, by the way, as Robert Sala says we love our current group when he was asked about potentially signing him. Um... Breaking news right now as we speak. The Pittsburgh Penguins have hired Kyle Dubas as their new general manager. This just came down like 13 minutes ago as we speak. The former uh, Leafs GM is going to Pittsburgh. They are president of hockey operations. So that's big news for Pittsburgh. It's shocking news to some. But that kind of came out of nowhere. Um, It took a while for Pittsburgh to finally um, make a move like this. And here we have it. And um, so, interesting hire for Pittsburgh. Kyle Dubas knows 
how to run teams with a lot of stars. And then this one's going to be a little more challenging because um, Pittsburgh's a team that has a lot of aging stars. And they have a lot of work to do, um, a lot of decisions to make. Um, and you know the, that ownership has the mission statement of build around Crosby, Malkin, and Latang, and keep the window open as soon as possible. But we'll see about that. Um, we'll see, like, how, um, you know, how that goes. And he has a lot of decisions to make, Kyle Dubas. And now um, there was some speculation that this was holding up the Rangers coaching search because they're thinking that Mike Sullivan could potentially be available. So um, that's something I brought up the other day when I was talking about the Rangers coaching search. But I think Sully's staying in Pittsburgh. I feel like if Sully was fired, they would fire him by now. But you never know. I could be completely wrong about that, and Sully could be coaching the Rangers. But um, I think Sully's going to still be with Pittsburgh, and they should keep Sully around. So very interesting breaking hockey news with the, the Penguins hiring um, Kyle Dubas as their president of hockey operations. But is he also their general manager, too? Um. So, big news in soccer. Um, Benzema is leaving Real Madrid as he's set to confirm he's moving on after 14 seasons and 24 trophies of Real Madrid. So, that's crazy. Um, the Knicks are hoping that Joel Embiid wants out of Philadelphia. Of course he does. Um, if they're paying close attention to Joel's desire to stay in Philly. Um, this has been rumored forever. Um, and that's the guy they want. And I think um, he's somebody that um, could be the best player on a championship team. A lot of people disagree with that. But if Jokic wins the championship, then Embiid could be the best player on the championship team too. I know Jokic is better than Embiid right now for sure, but um, Embiid has the ability to be that in my opinion. Um. Monty Williams to the Pistons, six-year, $72 million deal. Crazy coach contract. After he turned them down, Detroit was that desperate to hire Monty Williams. So Monty Williams, um, highest paid head coach with incentives um, um, that could push him to nine figures, which is crazy. Um. The Lakers eyeing Fred Van Vliet in a D'Angelo Russell sign-and-trade scenario. Um, so that's very interesting. Fred Van Vliet on the Lakers would be a nice fit. Um, Tony Khan announces the best in the world will return for the debut episode of AEW Collision on June 17th. So CM Punk back. Um... Brendan Miller wants to be the number two pick as he is hoping to convince the Hornets to take him at two. Um, Oscar Tshibwe staying in the NBA draft. That's not good for Kentucky. Um, Trey Alexander going back to Creighton. So that's great news for them. Zach Eady going back to Purdue. Great news for them. Um, Ron Holland is going to the G League Ignite after decommitting to Texas. And... Matas Boozlis is also going to the G League Ignite. Um, we talked about the Leafs hiring Brad Trevling as their new general manager. As uh, um, he came from the Flames. Flames fired him and now he's in Toronto. And now Kyle Dubas goes to Pittsburgh as we just spoke about a couple seconds ago. A Barry Bonds doc is coming as HBO and World Plus Pictures announces the production for a documentary about Barry Bonds, so that's um, pretty neat. Um, Duncan Robinson, one of the Celtics, says somebody handed out Duncan Robinson's phone number after game six, and he got revenge the next game. Brees Hall may play week one as Robert Sala, very optimistic that He'll be ready for the season opener. That would be great news for the Jets if they got him back for week one against the Bills. And then 
the LSU helmets to have AC in them, which is pretty cool as the Tigers will be staying cool down south in 2023. So they're air-conditioned helmets. So the cheese it Bowl has changed its name to the Pop-Tarts Bowl, which is very interesting. Um, and it will feature teams from the ACC and the Big 12. So the cheese it Bowl is no longer a thing. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, today was a pretty big show. A lot of news, and you had to do tennis today. Um, so not that many options for me. For best bet yesterday's was a loser with um, the um, Padres game going under. But... I'm going to do a half unit on a pick I feel pretty solid about. And that's the over 9.5 in the Rockies-Diamondbacks game. Um, I just think that um, that's a no-brainer over. I don't see how that hits double digits with um, the mediocre pitching that's going on there. So I'm going over 9.5 runs between the Rockies and the Diamondbacks. Half unit on it, minus 112 for my best bet of the day. That's it for the show. Be back tomorrow recapping everything and looking ahead to everything tomorrow and the weekend as well. So tomorrow's going to be a pretty big show as well. Have a great day, everybody.